So Diablo 4 is right around the corner, and I know a bunch of you are super hyped for the release, already dropping 70 plus dollars on the game. Or maybe you're on the fence and you're just holding off to see what the game's all about. Or maybe you're watching this after the release, which is totally fine too. Alright, so let's get into it. Diablo 4's closed beta came out March 17th and running over the weekend until March 20th. The open beta is going to run from March 24th to March 26th. After that, we have to wait until June 6th to play the full game. But in the meantime, if you're looking for a game to pick up, I highly recommend Diablo 3. Especially if you haven't played the game before. The lore, the voice actors, the world, exploring, finding treasure goblins, leveling up, getting stronger, and seeing your crit numbers get higher over time pushing into higher torments and greater rifts, the hardcore mode giving the game a sense of risk, that's what Diablo is all about. Diablo 3 is a seriously awesome game. The amount of versatility and replayability in the heroes, and with the builds, especially with the new seasons updating items and abilities, it's insane. And this latest season is no exception. They added the altar of rights for seasonal heroes, hypercharging your leveling experience and gearing so you can get to endgame a lot faster. I really like Diablo 3's leaderboard system. They make it easy for you to go in and inspect the top builds for the season, try to craft your own builds and push up to the top. I know Diablo 3 isn't perfect. There's some clunky systems like the stash and the inventory. If you play for a while, you'll notice your inventory space is pretty small and even the upgraded stash will start to fill up. The menus can feel like a drag sometimes pulling you out of the carnage and keeping you stuck in town. Some content will get really easy, like the uber bosses, and it doesn't get hard again. Other content will feel repetitive, like the bounties or the Nephilim rifts, and other content will feel extremely hard all the way up until the end, like you're running into a wall with the greater rifts or when you're pushing torment. But Diablo 4 is right around the corner. Having a game to play in the meantime is gonna be great. Check out my scores on the leaderboard and see if you can beat my times. And also, make sure to like and subscribe if you like it, so we can roll out more videos just like this one. Peace.